my crafty friends this is card number 12 in full deck challenge 2. today's prompts are brought to you by my daughter tia and they are yellow glitter buttons doily for yellow i've chosen this beautiful butterfly which is a printable from digital collage club i'll put a link to their website below there is a discount if you use my links I also have some iridescent glitter and then I have a little selection of small buttons and then for my doily I have this beautiful doily which is from Topology. They are not like your regular doilies, they're a bit more uh, of a thicker paper and they work really well and they've got beautiful designs. I'll have a link for that in the description below too. I'm going to go for a bit of a vintage feel so I'm going to start by prepping my card using a piece of tissue paper that's from an old dress pattern. I'm going to attach a piece of this with some Mod Podge onto the face of my card. I do like where the pattern has got some kind of writing or print so I'm going to include that on the piece that I use but if you want to just plain just go for a piece that doesn't have any kind of markings. Once all the Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to tear off the excess. You could use the scissors here if you prefer. I'm just going to tear it. Some of the corners have come off a little bit and showing the white of the card, but that's not a problem. You can either put additional tissue paper over the corners. I'm just going to use some Distress ink with my applicator and just go around the edges and distress them a bit and that ink will then just cover the white spots too. I'm just going to fussy cut my butterfly and get that ready to use. I'm planning to use my butterfly as wings for a little vintage person. I have this little girl. She's a paper doll from the Tim Holtz ideology range and I think she's going to be perfect and she's a perfect size. First though, I want to just add my doily as part of the background. It's going to be difficult to try and add glue to the doily so I'm just adding Mod Podge onto the face of the card and then sticking the doily on top and then just trimming off the excess. I'm also going to put a little bit in the other corner just to balance this out. This card is really not complicated today, it's just a few easy steps, I wanted to keep it simple. While I was looking for a glitter for the project, I came across this tiny little bottle that I have with the cork that I thought I really want to use in my project. So I'm going to put my glitter inside the little vial and this is going to be part of my card for the glitter part of the prompts. So I've just made a tiny little, little paper funnel and I'm just putting in the iridescent glitter into the little jar and then it's got a little cork top now i don't want the cork to fall off so i'm just going to add a little bit of a hot glue and then press it back into the bottle that'll seal it and it won't fall off the placement of the wings doesn't feel quite right so i'm going to cut them in half so i can spread them apart a little bit and i think that looks better on the little paper doll and then the little glitter bottle i'm going to use it as a little thing she's going to be holding this is a little fairy and holding a little jar of fairy dust I'm going to attach the wings and the paper doll with some hot glue onto the card. Before I add the little fairy dust jar, I'm just going to see what kind of buttons I'm going to use and where I'm going to put them. I don't think it actually needs anything additional, but the prompt does have a button, so I need to find a place to put a button in. Going through my buttons, I found a little teeny one that is a flower shape. Very small little yellow button that I'm going to add with hot glue to the middle of her bow. And then I also feel I'm ready to add the little fairy dust bottle into her hands. This also I'm just adding with hot glue. For a little bit more sparkle, I'm going to add a little bit of the iridescent glitter just in the center of the flowers that are on the doilies. So I've just added some clear glue in little dollops just in the centers and then I'm dusting the glitter over and then just taking off the excess. It'll just give it a little bit more of a sparkle. You can join in my full deck challenge anytime. We have completed full deck challenge one. This is full deck challenge two. If you are on Facebook, please do join my group. Just search full deck challenge group. 
I'm not crazy about the little yellow flower button in the middle of her bow. So I'm just taking it off and I'm going to replace it with a little white bow button that I have. It's also a little miniature button in the shape of a bow. And I'm thinking that's going to be a bit more subtle and it'll suit the bow better. Here is a close up of the card so you can see the beautiful details. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you are inspired to create your own and to maybe join in the full deck challenge. I will add links to the playlists for full deck challenge one and two in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.